What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745 and in this video we're going to be unlocking Damon Hellstrom's newest ult, of course I mean the worthy ult, Angler Breaker of Souls. I actually unlocked this the very first night or you could say the next morning, so I have had some time with it and I know I need to do three more heroics but I wanted to go ahead and show them in action. We also ended up getting the Golden Glove. And this is going to have man to man, protects allies from melee attacks. It also causes fatal blow, subdue, and wide open. Probably most importantly to go along with that melee protect, it does cause absorb energy. So very similar to the T-Bolt glove. Unfortunately I don't think they stack. Still though could definitely help out especially if you didn't win the T-Bolt glove. Then besides all the free CP and gold, we're going to be unlocking the true prize, the worthy Breaker of Souls. Once you unlock this, you're going to get it in Blaster and Infiltrator. So what we're going to do is check out the Infiltrator since it is a different class. Plus I'm looking forward to using the Covert E-ISO, so let's go ahead and check him out. I think he looks incredible, and this is just going to be a shorter PvP preview of him. But you're going to see plenty more of him in the upcoming season. I can guarantee you that. For his team up I figured we had to use Kurth, probably the most notorious worthy right now. And we are in luck because Damon gets to begin. Or should I just call him Angrier? Or Angrer? I think I like Angrier, but like I said we're using the Covert E-ISO and you'll also want to pay attention to Dark Soul. The main aspect we're going to look at is restores health after attacking. This is no joke and it's going to make him a huge pain in PvP. I was actually discussing him with a friend, and we both kind of thought along the same lines. Since he has an AoE buff as his level 2, it's a great place to put the Blessed A-ISO. This will give blessing to the entire team, increasing the effect of healing received. It makes Anger an even worse beast to deal with. Also, he's going to give everyone Skittering Soul Siphon. So, chance to avoid attacks, attacks become stealthy, and counters attacks with Drain Stamina. After that, his level 1 is going to be his counter, so it goes along with the Covert E-ISO, and it applies Soul Fire and Doom. We added the Knocking, I believe, so that gave it Incapacitation as well. Now don't get me wrong, Magic Warding is going to be annoying, but still, a Soul Fire and Doom, that makes for a very tough level 1, and a counter, preemptive at that. Then his level 9 Twisted Flames is a big single target heal. It's going to restore health each turn so Blessing will help. It removes and prevents debuffs for two rounds. Plus, they'll counter attacks with Burning, Scorched, and Pyrophoric. We've also given this Thorny so he will apply Thorns to himself when he uses it. Lastly, his level 6 is a multi-function summon. So first of all, we have the Dominatrix which applies Possessed. This can cause the target to immediately attack an ally, even though that seems kind of broken. Besides that though, it's pretty much going to be a stun. Oh, and we place the Hexing A-ISO on it, so enemy attacks have a chance to backfire. This is a pretty nice function, and it's going to be our starting function a lot of times. But moving on to the next action, it's Mort Deuce. Another quick action summon that applies Bane and Malignant Poison. This prevents healing while active, and has a chance to spread to nearby allies. A pretty amazing debuff. And it comes from a quick action, so you can't beat that. Preventing healing is very beneficial in PvP, especially these days. Finally though, the Act of Darkness. This is an AoE catastrophic attack that applies Purged, so removes effects from class bonuses, prevents the character from gaining class benefits. Oh, and it has Demise, so causes Doom to trigger immediately. You know, just thinking about this option alone, we're going to run a Gamora and Angrier team. That should be a lot of fun. Then there's Dr. Voodoo as well. But since the enemy team had the Mystic, we went ahead and used Cloaked and Lost Souls. Right away you see Damon try to stop a magic attack, so he actually gained back some stamina. Now on my agent's turn, we're going to get rid of that pesky Mystic Shroud, and then we can really have some fun. In fact, right after this, we're going to disorient the enemies, take away Mystic Shroud, and use the Smothering Shadow. Then since we're still not done, we're going to use a Dark Energy Blade on the enemy agent. 
He has the lunacy and he's a tactician so we definitely don't want him sticking around. I'm sure whatever he's going to do it won't be pleasant. Now once again after Colossus attacks our agent he takes absorb energy and that soul siphon. So we just keep draining stamina. And we don't even have the lunacy or the signpost. So you could really do a lot with that. It wouldn't take much to tweak your team and really drain those opponents stamina. With the Breaker of Souls up next, we're finally going to see his summon. And like I said, we'll begin with the Dominatrix. Possession has a 70% chance, and although I never see allies attack their own teammates, hopefully they get that working correctly. The stun part though you will see. And just check out this consuming darkness. Almost 6k heals, and that's every time Damon attacks. Well, with a blessing boost. This even goes for his preemptive counters just to let you know. So he's going to be incredibly annoying to try to take down in PvP. But I will say Damon isn't exactly a pure attacker. When you look at him really that level 1's his main attack. And then he has some damage on his summons. Well two of them. But he's kind of there to annoy your enemies, provide support, stop healing, remove buffs and so on. It may not be exactly everyone's playstyle. But I think he's going to be incredibly resilient. And with him, it's going to be difficult for your team to be knocked out. That's for sure. I mean, just check out this level 9. We're going to go ahead and use it on our agent. And it's going to do a powerful first time heal. Plus, there goes a nice heal at the beginning of each of your turns. On top of that, debuffs are removed and prevented. Plus, our agent's going to counter with Burning, Scorched, and Pyrophoric. So let's see what happens when Colossus goes to attack. First he'll use Still Curtain, then he gets preemptively countered, causing Damon to heal. Blessing must have worn out, but it still heals a decent amount. And our agent once again absorbs energy, then Twisted Flames procs. So we'll see Pyrophoric on him, even though he's immune to burning. Plus you can still put that Soul Fire on him as well. With Kurth's next turn, we're going to go ahead and use Short Fuse, our level 15 class ability, then I'm going to use our level 1 on Emma Frost. As long as this hits, which it does, we're going to explode 2 runes. And you all know how much damage that can do. It's even going to be enough to take down the White Queen. So we are kind of tired of Colossus healing and we're going to use our Mort Deuce to basically place Malignant Poison. No more healing for him. Plus we'll heal. And then after that, we're going to have to recharge. Malignant Poison though is on Colossus. Now the other thing I do want to mention is our summon attack does unfortunately have a cooldown. So you can't use it every round. Because of all the dots though on Colossus we're going to take it easy on my agent's turn. And then that should allow us to get another hit with Angrier. That is unless Colossus goes and gets himself killed. But never mind he does recharge. So we'll do the same with Kurth. Then we'll use our Soul Breaker on the only target left. But we do come up short. Once again though, you see that healing power. And since he's going to go down, we might as well take him out with an Atom Smasher. So that's it. That's going to be the end of the unlocking and first look at Angrier in PvP. Like I said, we'll be back with more soon and the rest of the heroics plus a lot more. So make sure you stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and until next time, good luck and take care.